Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Roly Romero is feeling himself these days, isn't he? Look, he did good against Tank. He looked very impressive. He did. I like Roly. <clears throat> the guy's a character, man. But let's put things in perspective, all right? You can't take it to the stupid. Roly Romero is calling out Earl Spence Jr. Look, Roly Romero, I don't care how hard he hits. I don't care how much hubris he brings into the ring and to the fight game. Roly Romero's not beating Earl Spence, okay? Stop it. Just knock it off. Just, just stop, okay? The funny thing is, I wasn't even going to do a video on this. There are people out there saying Roly Romero has a good chance on beating Earl Spence. Let me tell you, people in Twitter, man, I don't like to, you know, attack people and say harsh things. It's not my style, you know. Um, I just think there's other things I can say without having to attack somebody and still get my point across. But what what's going on with these people in Twitter, what's going on with some of these people on these boxing sites who are creating these story storylines, I think it's a shock and awe thing. You know what I'm saying? They're just looking for a reaction. Well, they got one from me. Look, Roly, Roly going into the fight with Tank, you know, I gave him a chance to win that fight because I knew Roly has a quirky style, man. And he has power and he has speed, right? He, he has a lot of those qualities that you need to get in there and be very successful in a boxing match. Against a guy like Tank, no. But, uh, Tank been boxing since he was, what, seven, eight, something like that? So Roly, it was impossible to, to match IQs with Tank. But if Tank got in there and made a mistake early, Roly had, he has the, the, the attributes to have made Tank pay with, by vicious knockout. Now, Roly got some shots off. Roly had some great moments those first, you know, the first four or five rounds. And then, but, you know, ultimately, you saw Tank was starting to figure him out. And when Tank was letting his hands go, he was having success. And ultimately, Roly Romero got greedy, like Leo Santa Cruz, throwing that right hand one too many times. Tank countered him. Okay, lights out. Now, you figure Tank hits hard. Some people say he hits like a heavyweight. I never been hit by him, but I tend to believe it because when there where there's smoke, there's fire. And sparring partners, even guys who don't like Tank, they all give him his respect as a puncher. Now Earl Spence, right? When he gets in the ring, he more or less breaks you down. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Everyone he's fought, he's fought or he's sparred, whether they like him or not, they give him that respect as a puncher. So you look at Earl Spence's pedigree as an amateur, uh, his amateur pedigree. Look at his ped pedigree as a professional boxer. Look at his style, okay? Getting there with a guy like Roley, who often doesn't really establish a center of gravity and have the balance he needs, who has this habit of reaching back, bending back, and they could say that's attributed to him doing years of Taekwondo, right? Bullshit, in my opinion, okay? Um, but at the end of the day, what in the world could Roly Romero possibly do that would blunt anything that Earl Spence brings to the fight and could ultimately earn him a win? Nothing. We can always say, man, in boxing, you know, there's always a chance. It, one punch can change a fight. I, I believe that. I, I do. I believe that. I just don't think Roly's going to be able to do that against Earl Spence Jr. Now, Roly Romero's gone on and said, he doesn't want to fight um, this guy, Martin, who Spence is promoting. He doesn't want to fight him. He, because that's who Spence is pushing, right? He, they want the Roly fight. Now, the guy who Spence is promoting, I think his last name is Martin, right? He just had a fight. And he, he ended the fight in a pretty dramatic fashion. Got the guy out of there. He looked very good doing it. But there were some moments in that fight where... I was like, wow, this guy Martin is going to lose, and probably by knockout. That's, that's the kind of pressure his opponent was putting on him, kind of shots his opponent was landing, because Martin had a habit of just not getting his hands up. So I'm going to say this, right? Now, when it comes to the guy Earl Spencer is promoting, right, his boxer, I think Roly Romero 
has a good chance of knocking that guy out because styles make fights. Now, I'll, I will say this. Martin is a good boxer. He's a good fighter. But I think Roley Romero has a good chance of knocking him out because that, to, to just drop your hands and have a habit and getting hit with the shots he was getting hit in that fight, they have to fix that and fix that quick if he's going to go in there and fight a guy who's a, a heavy hitter because he got hit with some shots, man. If he gets clipped like that by Roley, it could be lights up. So I think that is a more competitive fight. fight. But Roley and Spence just, you know, stop. Just, you know, push the pause button. Just, you know, hold your horses. Like, that makes no sense at all, man. So I don't know if Roley is just really feeling himself after the tank fight because that loss essentially was a win for Roley. It put Roley on the map. Everyone's talking about him because they didn't think he would... They didn't think he would last not even, you know, 30 seconds in there. And he got in there, got his respect early, and he got the respect of a lot of people in the boxing community. But right now, he's making mistakes, in my opinion, by calling out Earl Spence, insulting Earl Spence. Like, those are things that is just not necessary. And if he really is buying into the hype around himself, then Roley Romero is going to get a rude wake-up call because if he's in there with a boxer, right? Someone who can box, keep him at a distance, and who has punch, uh, punching power, boxer puncher. Roley Romero could be in trouble. If he gets in there with a guy like Isaac Cruz, right? Roley can, Roley can box. And Roley has power, okay? You got to give him credit. But if he fights Isaac Pitbull Cruz, look, man, I think Pitbull Cruz destroys Roley within three rounds. And I like Roley. But especially if Roley is buying into his own hype, okay? What he should be doing, in my opinion, is being humble and grateful for the opportunity that Tank gave him and how it helped to leapfrog him into this whole other platform whole nother, and boost his profile. Don't come now and just start gassing your own self up thinking you can beat Spence. Then going in now thinking you can beat who? Terrence Crawford now? Who are you going to come and beat Keith Thurman? He's not even beating Keith Thurman. Now, Keith Thurman, if you guys follow this page, you know he was my favorite fighter, man. I still like Keith Thurman, but I, he got married and got the mango lassies in him. And, you know, I grew up drinking them too. So, you know, I know I know what's in those. Those are good. Married, beautiful child. He's living a happy life. But Keith Thurman's not that same Keith, Keith Thurman that fought Danny Garcia that fought Sean Porter. He's not that guy. Soto Karras. That Keith Thurman is gone. But even this version of Keith Thurman is still a monster and enough of a monster to where Roley shouldn't even come mess with him. Roley should fight Barrios then. Get in there with Barrios. See if you can handle Barrios. Tank did. Tank moved up to 140. So you want to, you say you can get to 147 because Roley says he's a big 135 pounder. He's a big boxer. He's, a, he's big. He can fight at 154. Roley can't fight no damn 154. He can make he can make the weight, of course. He can, but he doesn't. Roley fighting Charlo now? You know, get out of here, man. He can't even fight getting there and clip Jesse Vargas. So, and I like Roley. I just think Roley, man, he's, that might be his downfall if he starts thinking that he can really, you know, you got you to gotta crawl before you walk. And he's like, he's gone from crawling to, 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 to not even want to stand and get balanced. Like, he just wants to get up and just go off into a whole damn sprint. He better stay away from Earl Spence and those guys, man. It's just not something that I think he should be doing. But he could be clout chasing. You know, he could just be trying to keep his name in the mix. I'm not sure who he ha who he has um, on his radar realistically for his next fight. But I think Earl Spence is definitely going to push for that fight between his guy and Roley Romero. Roley Romero has a lot of options. He really does, man. He has a lot of options. But Roley and Spence fighting at 147 is not going to happen, man. We know Spence and Crawford... They're like they're going to get it on, and after that, more than likely, they could probably do a rematch. They may not. Who knows what they're going to do? But we know at probably sooner than later, Earl Spence and maybe Terrence Crawford, too, are going to go up to 154 pounds. So Roley ever getting a chance at Earl Spence uh, and trying to make that fight is, you know, all the less likely. But it is what it is. But what got all this started is that uh, Roley was uh, talking with Fight Hub TV, and they were talking about Javante Davis and asking him if he want, still wanted to rematch and who he'd be open to fighting. And that's where Roley said he had bigger plans. 
he wants to fight Earl Spence and um, he's talking about how, he, how, how big he is, how strong he is, talking about his record being 14-1 with two of those coming by knockout and just saying that, you know, that's who he wants to fight. He doesn't want to fight the guy he's promoting. He's going after the big fish. That's what he wants. But anyway, man, I'll leave it as that. Rolly Romero, Floyd Mayweather. That's one thing I like about Floyd. I like about Leonard Ellerby. They don't try to tone down Rolly Romero. They let him be himself. He's, he's, he's his own promoter, marketing genius. He's very vocal. And, and, and those are good qualities to have. But it's a bad quality when you start believing in your own hype and gassing your own self up. And that's where, you know, the reality will come to you real quick. And Rolly Romero needs to leave Earl Spence alone. I, Earl Spence is the kind of guy, he's going to get through all this chaos, negotiating chaos with Terrence Crawford. They're going to fight. But Earl Spence is the kind of guy who would welcome Rowley to a, a sparring session. And they would get some rounds in and Earl Spence would show him exactly what uh, their the levels to, to this boxing game. Earl Spence is like that. And Rowley's like that. Rowley's not going to run from a sparring match. But we know Rowley is very aggressive and very dirty, but I just don't think it would matter. But I could see Earl Spence getting through this stuff with Terrence Crawford. And if Rowley's still talking and he hasn't lost again, I could see Earl Spence coming out there and sparring with him just to put him in his place. That would happen. But a no kidding fight, that's not going to happen. But anyway, that being said, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You guys keep, uh, keep cool. I appreciate the support. Shout out to the veterans. And as always, I'm in the breeze.